so I thought I'd just take you for a bit of a drive through uh, certain parts of, uh, of Bali. We're in Sanua at the moment. This is the main street in Sanua. Um, Jalan Tumbling. And uh, as you can see, there's a few shops open and a few shops closed. Um, it's 3.30 in the afternoon, so usually this is about the busiest time. And uh, this is where the tourists come out to play and uh, as you can see there's not too many tourists. Virtually no traffic on the road, no cars parked. Usually the sides of these streets are, well one side is usually packed with motorbikes or, uh, or cars. But as you can see, hardly anybody around. It's just after change of shift so probably why you see a few people riding around. People setting up little stalls on the side of the road. Everybody's uh, trying to make a quid because uh, they've been put off work from different places and uh, obviously no money to feed the family so they've got to do their best. And uh, But as you can see a lot of places closed. What I have noticed is a, a fair amount of reconstruction going on like people renovating uh, shops and things like that and uh, some new buildings going up some old ones coming down but that's usually the norm in uh, in Indonesia you drive around one day you used to go to some place the next day you go there and it's a different shop so but as you can see very very quiet this is actually the amount of times I've been down this street during this uh, virus bullshit is uh, this is probably the busiest. These are all sports bars are completely empty. Only about one place where the westerners will gather and that's down around down what we call the dark end of town. And uh, I can understand why. But yes, it's uh, very busy. I don't know. Uh, well, I say it's not very busy. I don't know how they can afford to stay open, but I guess they don't pay any wages. The wages are very, very low in Indonesia. But most of these are family-owned premises, and uh, I guess. Everybody in the family's got to work them to survive. But, you know, the tourist shops that you see, well, you know, I don't know why they're open because there's no tourists around. Well, I suppose we've got to get rid of their stock somehow. I, I guess a couple of Indonesians will buy stuff. There are a couple of um, what they call um, local, well, not local tourists, but, you know, from Java and Lombok and mainly from J Jakarta uh, will come to Bali at this quiet time. They seem to be able to afford it. The wages are pretty, a fair bit higher over there. And domestic tourism is, uh, it's not what they expected. They thought there'd be more, but uh, I guess they got to cop what they get. You see a lot more people on the streets selling stuff. Um, another road I'll go down later on. You'll see. Uh, you'll see how they're trying to flog stuff up on the side of the road. And feel sorry for them, but you can't. You can't buy it all. It's a sad affair. And this is the Hyatt Hotel up here. But, uh, gee whiz, has spent millions on this place. And uh, now they get no overseas. Oh, overseas tourists as the, uh, the borders are still closed in, uh, into Indonesia and a lot of countries their borders are closed but coming out of their countries like Australia it'll be a while before uh, we come out of Australia I think I heard something like nine, another nine months so, and that could change from day to day so, so that's the opening of the Hyatt Yes, 
it's okay, we'll, uh, we'll continue on and we'll, uh, we'll catch up later on. So we've moved out of uh, the tourist area and we're back into uh, what we call the suburbs and we're heading up to uh, the main city, Denpasar. So it'll give you a bit of an indication of, um, you know, the, the locals and, uh, and their lifestyle. As you can see, setting up here on the side of the road, the bloke on a motorbike, got a bit of tucker there. Another one up here selling, uh, selling whatever. It looks like Krupa, which is a, like a, like a chip, you know. So here's one here, he's selling uh, Chook's feet, Chook's feet. Shilok, they call it. I got uh, lumbered into one of those once before. I didn't know what it was until so, I opened it up and there it was, Buddy Chook's feet. Not the most appetizing uh, meal I've ever had. This is a bit needed part of town. And uh, usually this is uh, pretty busy along here, but as I say, you know, not too many people with a lot of money, so I don't know where all these people are going. There's plenty of them on the road. I'm going to turn around into this street, but the sun's going to be in in our eyes, so uh, we'll see how we go with the sun there. Probably just silhouettes. But this is the main main street in this particular area, don't ask me what it's called the area, but, but um, it's pretty close to Renon, but most of these shops are open, and it closes off, so I think the sun's going to be in their place. Okay, so this is the main street in, uh, in Denpasar. Uh, Denpasar being the capital of Bali and uh, it's not like a main street you see in a western place we got two pieces there for 500 not a bad deal and uh, that's the main computer place This is uh, Mall Bali, which is uh, Ramiana, which is a pretty big shopping centre. And as you can see, it's a little bit busier down here. Well, when I say busier, busy with motorbikes, I don't know about anything else. Now, if you've got nothing to do of an afternoon, you can probably come down here and uh, have a game of uh, chess and eat some makan lady there selling uh, selling fruit and everything the boys playing chess there I can't see because they're all on the road Blood that is. Little card here selling Abakaba. How are you? What do you sell here? And he's got his little cooker going there. Tahu. Yeah. Ah, so he sells tahu. Mm. This peanut sauce, kechang. Coconut. Coconut sauce. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. And this is bakso. And here's the bakso cart. Now, you have a look at that food in there. Those bakso things are either pork or chicken. And they've probably been there all day, so... Um, a little bit out of my league. There's another fella here. He's 
He's giving it the treatment. So there you go. Well, I'm going to shoot up here to this little restaurant that I go to every now and then and have something a little bit more decent to eat. So we'll catch you later on. Okay, here's one of the busiest roads leading uh, out of Denpasar into uh, going down to Sanua. So a pretty busy road this one. As you can see. He's pretty cautious here driving one hand. I like the Indonesians, they can drive no hands with uh, using the phone and doing their hair and looking in the mirror. Ambidextrous. But uh, they can do that with five kids on board. But yeah, this is one of the busiest roads. It's uh, called uh, Ayam Waruk. And it goes uh, almost, almost into Sanua. So it widens up down the road here a bit, but still pretty busy as you can see, a lot of motorbikes here. And uh, what, what these, what's the time? It's uh, 10 to 5. So a lot of these people will be uh, out getting something to eat on their way home. You know, there's another lot of these little push carts along the thing. The worst part about them is at night they still push them around and uh, they don't have any bloody lights on them so it's pretty hard to see them. So I wonder if there's not more accidents. I haven't seen an accident but then again I don't go out there much at night. Used to but not anymore. Getting too bloody old. But uh, again I, I stress that uh, there's not as much traffic on these roads at the moment because of the virus and a lot of people are not working so they'd be at home. Uh, whereas this road here would be bumper to bumper normally. Pretty horrific. But all good fun. So, uh, oh, a few bumps there. So we'll leave it there and we'll uh, catch up later on. Here's another one of those little carts. What's this one selling? I don't know what he's got there, it looks like Baxo to me. They love their Baxo here, Baxo and noodles. A lot of these uh, stalls with tables like this one coming up here, are. Uh, I think they've got a, they may have a license to set up. Because they seem to be in the same places every day or every afternoon. Only come down in the afternoons. Okay, so we've got a set of lights here, so I'll turn this camera off and we'll uh, catch up later on.